Time to check in again with Dave, who was a bit worried yesterday about having some major setbacks on Monday. And as you'll recall, he started his journey back to New York last Friday in Anchorage, Alaska, with $50 in his cell phone and a jacket that he later lost. And on Monday, he made it to Yakima, Washington. It was, we were very impressed. Yeah. Uh, by yesterday morning, though, he'd only gotten as far as Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And this morning, he's only in Bozeman, Montana. Could be in trouble. Yeah, this new title of the series, No Way Home. No, really. <laughs> Dave, how are you this morning? Uh, Harry, good morning to you. Just going to shut off the radio here in the Hotel Sonata where I stayed. That's the <laughs> Hotel Hyundai Sonata. Yeah. I have my uh, blanket right here, a sleeping bag, and it's very comfortable when the, sleets, uh, the seats recline mm. about 40 degrees. Very nice. I'll be visiting the chiropractor shortly upon my return next year. Uh, last year at this time, on a Wednesday, guys, we were in Omaha, Nebraska, 1,246 miles from New York City. This year, on Wednesday, we're in Bozeman, Montana, 2,176 miles from New York, and we are in, plain language, some big trouble. We are in Bozeman, where they uh, filmed A River Runs Through It. We're east of the Continental Divide. This town has a population of 27,000 people who I am urging at this moment to employ me. We traveled 346 or 366 miles overnight, and we did not, again, make the progress we wanted. But we took yesterday, and we took the time. I just sat here, and I said, I need to get things in order. And so that's what happened. Take a look. Having lost most of my cash for a clunker the day before, I was near broke, and if I had any chance of getting home, I had to clean up quickly. So that's just what I did at the Holiday Inn Express. We're working over here, over. My boss, Laura Hart, executive housekeeper. What's the worst <laughs> thing you've ever seen? The worst thing I've ever seen? Yeah, walking in. They were having sex. Ooh. You asked. <laughs> Laura has seen everything because she's been keeping hotel rooms spotless for 16 years. How many thousands of beds have you made? I couldn't tell you. I'm 44, I've, I've, I can count the number of beds I've made. Lick your sheet, I'd is that? See that line? Yeah. She is so good, she can make a bed in two minutes and clean an entire room in 25. So with a few pointers from the pro. You're gonna do wax on, wax off, pull that corner up. And that way you're not touching any body fluids. That's more protection for you. It was time to shine. All right. You have to clean out. You're up here. In the end, it took me only 20 minutes to make the bed. The next time you think of coming and staying in a hotel and not tipping the chambermaid, think again. This is very hard work. So I'm spending money on the road. Cash in hand, I set my sights on getting as far east as I could go. The issue was... I think I need to take two seconds and figure out where I'm... How? I have no idea what to do. So I, I just, to be honest with you, I, let's stop the interview because I need to... But I soon figured out... Do you have, like, any special rates going on now? ...that I could afford to rent a car one way from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho to Denver, Colorado. Now I'm going to try and race down there right now. If I could just get to the rental agency before they closed. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. And it seemed again like my luck was turning. $72.67 all the way to Denver. Yeah. Do the happy dance. <laughs> the forecast in between Idaho and Colorado called for snow. Unfortunately, I was a weatherman without a coat. Oh, this is great. You see, I had one when I got into my friend Devin's car in Bellingham, Washington, but oh. not when I got out in Seattle. I, I so I needed help. Luckily, it came in the form of a caring email. Any way you could drop it off, I don't even know where I'm going next. Kiana and Jason Sandusky from the local Foursquare Church brought me some warmth. Thank you so much. I can't tell you what this means to me for the rest of the trip. And the kindness in Coeur d'Alene didn't stop there. Uh, you guys have those $5 footlongs? Amber Grant was nice enough to buy me a perfect stranger dinner, and her young daughter Devin picked up exactly how I was feeling. Special, so you leave everywhere? No. I want to go home too, sweetie. <laughs> I want to go home too. So what's the plan, Dave? Well, first of all, I left that stinking coat in the hotel in the lobby that I cleaned. 
I left the coat I got. I, uh, I, yeah. I have no coat again. I mean, this is, I'm what? so tired, I'm not even thinking. So I need a coat. Um, I'm still nine hours from Denver. I've got to get the car back or, or it starts rolling into that second day. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I have almost no money again because I have to set aside seventy nine dollars and something cents to pay right, for it. Right. So I'm, I'm gonna try and work in Bozeman this morning, uh, and I don't. I don't know. Dave, you. I gotta fly at some point. You 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 sound beaten down. Uh, just know we we are behind you. We 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 think you can do it. We 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 think. No, you're actually Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, you're actually in front of me. You're in front of me by several thousand miles. This is, this is true. This wow. is true. Stop losing your coats, man. Yeah. Your luck's going to change today, I promise. I'm counting on that. <laughs> I miss you guys. All right, buddy. I miss shaving. I miss showers. I miss cleanliness. Right. And so if you want to help Dave find his way back to New York, follow him on Twitter at Early Show Dave or send an email, nowayhome at cbsnews.com.